Welcome back to Road Trivia. Today is episode number 364. The category is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. This will be the final Christmas-themed trivia of the year. Tomorrow will be the recap of 2000 to 2020. Uh, That'll be the trivia quiz category. And then the final one of the year will be New Year's Resolution Trivia. So stick around and join us for those. And good luck on today's trivia quiz. Question 1. Identified in previous movies, as well as by the license plates on the RV, what U.S. state is Cousin Eddie from? The answer is Kansas. Question 2. After Clark uses a non-chloric silicone-based kitchen lubricant to grease his saucer sled, his dangerous ride comes to an end in the parking lot of which store? The answer is Walmart. Question 3. The Christmas Vacation theme song that was written for the movie by the husband and wife songwriting team of Barry Mann and Cynthia Weil was performed by who? It was performed by Mavis Staples. Question 4. With a nasty sinus condition and a penchant for digging through the trash, what is the name of Eddie's pet dog? The answer is snots. Question 5. Famous for playing the role of Elaine Bennis on NBC's Seinfeld, what was the name of the actress who plays Margot Chester, Clark's snooty next-door neighbor? The answer is Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Question 6. When Clark and Cousin Eddie are in the living room drinking eggnog, the glasses they are drinking out of are in the shape of what character from the previous vacation movies? They are shaped like Marty Moose from Wally World. Question 7. Since he wanted the builders to start as soon as the ground thawed, Clark already put how much of a down payment on his family's future swimming pool? The answer is $7,500. Question 8. Ruby Sue fell down a well and her eyes went crossed, but what happened to make them go back to normal? The answer is, she got kicked by a mule. Question 9. 
appearing in four of the seven films in the National Lampoon's Vacation film series as Cousin Eddie, what actor plays the jovial redneck relative through marriage of Ellen Griswold? The answer is Randy Quaid. Question 10. When they ask Aunt Bethany to say grace before dinner, what does she say instead of the blessing? The answer is the Pledge of Allegiance. Question 11. After finding out he didn't give his employees a Christmas bonus, what does the police officer say he would beat Clark's boss with if he had one on him? He said he would beat him with a rubber hose. Question 12. When Art goes to give Eddie's son a kiss, Eddie warns that he might want to take a rain check on that because of what health condition? He said he's got some sort of a lip fungus. Question 13. Before he played Leonard Hofstetter in the CBS sitcom The Big Bang Theory, what actor played Clark Griswold's son, Rusty, in Christmas Vacation? The answer is Johnny Galecki. Question 14. While Clark is staring out his window, daydreaming about his pool in the backyard, what classic Christmas tune is playing? The answer is Maliki Liki Maka by Bing Crosby. Question 15. What team's jersey is Clark wearing in the morning while the family is eating breakfast and Cousin Eddie is emptying his chemical toilet into the sewer? He is wearing his Chicago Blackhawks jersey. Question 16. Instead of the expected cash Christmas bonus, what does Clark Griswold receive from his company instead? The answer is a one-year membership to the Jelly of the Month Club. Question 17. Living with all the other rich people over there on Melody Lane, what is the name of Clark's boss? The answer is Frank Shirley. Question 18. 
How many Christmas lights does Clark Griswold use to light up his over-the-top Christmas house? The answer is 25,000. Question 19. What actress and musician plays the role of Audrey Griswold, Clark and Ellen's daughter? The answer is Juliet Lewis. And finally, question 20. Not your typical Christmas classic, what song does Aunt Bethany sing at the end of the movie? The answer is the Star Spangled Banner. Alright, that is it for today's trivia, and that is it for Christmas trivia. Tomorrow will be the recap. It'll be trivia questions from the last 20 years, from 2000 to 2020. Uh, just kind of a general knowledge, what are the most exciting things that have happened, stuff like that. It's just a 20-year recap, and then the final trivia quiz of the year will be New Year's Resolutions trivia. So check back for both of those. The new stuff starts January 1st. We'll be doing uh, new categories, new quizzes. I think we'll stick with the 20 question trivia. I think we'll stick with the same format. Just be doing some new trivia quizzes, some new categories, um, some new weekly stuff like uh, I think we did Tuesday's trivia. We'll probably do something similar, maybe a Tuesday and a Friday or something like that because the general knowledge trivia was the most popular this year so that's it we're almost done we have almost done 366 unique trivia quizzes first time in my life that I've completed a uh, year of New Year's resolutions this was my goal this year and it looks like I'm gonna make it <laughs>